and welcome to this Physics 132 lab. This particular lab is going to focus on the fundamentals of measurement. What does it mean to make a good measurement? And how do we quantify the uncertainty on that measurement? Those are really going to be the focus of this lab. Along the way, you're going to be introduced to fundamental statistics concepts like mean and standard deviation that you might have seen in a statistics course. You will also be thinking about how to represent uncertainty. You'll explore different options, including significant figures, which most of you have probably seen, a method called the crank three times method, which is simple, but somewhat limited. And then we're going to explore a much more sophisticated method known as the Monte Carlo error propagation technique. This is the error propagation technique that is actually used in most research in the modern times because it's the easiest to implement with complex data sets and complex formulas. In order to do Monte Carlo effectively, you're also going to learn several different spreadsheet techniques. Again, we're going to use Google Sheets to teach you spreadsheets because it's the easiest for us to help you with, but the basic ideas work for Excel or numbers or any of the other spreadsheet programs out there. And as was said in the introduction to the lab, spreadsheets are a great skill that are used in many different careers and in many different contexts. So along the way, you're going to learn some nice spreadsheet stuff. So the measurement that you're going to do in this lab might seem relatively simple. All you're going to measure is the volume of a US nickel. So you're going to need to measure the radius and the thickness of your nickel. So all you need are 10 US nickels and a metric ruler. So things that you can probably get pretty easily. So you're gonna make these measurements and these measurements might seem relatively simple and they are, that's on purpose. We wanna focus on an easy to make measurement so that we can really think about what the uncertainties are and how to propagate these uncertainties from just the radius and thickness into the volume with a simple measurement that we can understand before we move to something more complex. And I think along the way, you'll be surprised at how hard measuring something that seems as relatively simple as the volume of a nickel actually is. So the lab, as usual, will guide you through with a series of questions and, and instructional materials and other things for you to do. Don't hesitate to reach out to your lab TA for help if you need it. Uh, any multiple choice question, you'll get multiple attempts at. So there'll be a way to check your answers and you can get multiple attempts. There's a small deduction in credit for each attempt because let's be honest, we don't want you just guessing. Um, and that's how the lab basically works. So once again, don't hesitate to reach out to your lab TA for assistance and have fun really thinking about how to make measurements and what uncertainty really means.